I'll get you back with it. I saw how that works. It's only looking like that because it's fucking tips. No, it's, it's back there. It's with the lines. Okay. Yeah. Well, anywho, um, no. It's funny because everyone thinks I'm like the nicest girl there. They don't thought I was the nicest girl. This is not going to hurt anyone. You're so sweet. And, and, um, well, I think I'm real nice and everything. And they just didn't expect. Anyways, Trinity. Trinity um, had a customer. I'm just fucking nervous with that thing on now. Trinity had Trinity had um had a customer and he liked me and so then um so then he came to the stage and he put the dollar bill in his mouth. Okay, which either means that he's gonna accept the dollar he's gonna put the dollar bill in his mouth and I open my boobies up and then I go like this and I take the dollar bill out. Or I go down and, and I act like he's gonna get a kiss and I pull the dollar bill out of his mouth. And um, anywho, um, Trinity saw that, okay? And the customer was cute on top of it, she had a crush on him. And so Trinity saw, saw that and she got really, really mad. And she came up to me right after it happened. She goes, You get that close to my customer's face again. And I'll, wait, wait. She said, If you get that close to my customer again, I'll bust you in your face. And something like that, anyways, it's not bashing in my face or something. Anyway, it's threatening to kick my fucking ass. Right, brother? Maybe we just looked at each other and smiled because what the fuck was that about? Someone was weird, I don't know. And, um, and anyway, so he ignored her though. He kept fucking coming up and giving me money. You know, fuck that bitch, right? Okay, now Trinity was already on my nerves, and Diamond already told me to stay away from Trinity and Sasha and just talk to her and Avina, or, Dyn or Dynasty. Anyways, so, um, and then, um, uh, Trinity, um, uh, I went to the bag and I was turning in my money, and Trinity walked up to the door frame because Trinity's big and bad, and she didn't want to be intimidated by her. I mean, I was really nice, and she told me to do something, I'd always do it, it was never anything worth getting a fight into, but when she physically threatened me, I was like, oh, fuck you, now you've gone too far. And, and, um, so, okay, I'm counting out my money to, um, to Papa George, and, um, and she goes, what? And I go, you know what? And I just tell her, like, you don't ever fucking threaten me like that again. And, and she was like, she kind of started talking shit to me, and I was just like, I just kept going off on her. And, um, letting her know, like, she's gonna fucking act like this with her throat. And fucking, um... She walked into the fucking dressing room and shut the door and went in there with the other girls and spanked me because they were all there talking. They didn't hear what was going on. Papa George sat there, his mouth fucking dropped. He started laughing so hard when he walked when she walked out of the room. He's all, oh my fucking gosh. He's all, he's all, I didn't think you had that in you. He's all, you are fucking hot. I want you. <laughs> that was funny. Because I fucking, I fucking, at one point, I was, I was so fucking mad at her. I fucking took off my fucking heels and threw them on the fucking chair. I was so fucking angry. I was getting ready just to fucking go down. Oh my gosh. That was funny. Second puppet George. He was like, oh my God. But she's like that. After that, me and Trinity had no fucking problems at all, dude. She came to me, she's like, I'm sorry, I can't be mad at you. I said, that's all right, dude, I'm sorry, I said what I said to you. She's like, no, because if I had been you, I would have said it too. And, and, and then after that, me and Trinity hung out a couple of times. She said, I'm really funny to you.
No, something about New Zealand sucks too, but I can't remember what it is. I was talking to somebody the other day. The oh, that's what it is, though. Their medical system is far behind. Can't be far behind this. Yeah, it is. It's one of the worst. We're one of the worst. No, they are with us. Yeah. Well, yeah. then if that's all you got, and you can... And, I've, and been marijuana reading in my breast cancer. I've been reading in my breast cancer, but they are... They are uh, no, they're, they're worse than us. They don't have the medical advances we have. They, they, they don't, because there's less money for it in their hospitals. And their doctors are slower to think. This was for, um, regarding uh, advanced chemotherapy for... I know, but a lot of those articles are written by people who work for the companies that are making money off of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. but what Is Dr. Smart? Is Dr. Smart because he knows to stay away from radiation? And that's just common sense. Radiation causes cancer. They use radiation to, to cure cancer. That's just a fucked up way of doing it. I mean, chemotherapy, if they've got the drugs down where they're targeting cancer cells, it, it at a limited effect, it can it can help. But radiation, he knew, because he said, I don't want to use the radiation, I want to use the dye to look for the for lymph nodes, because radiation's bad. Shouldn't use radiation in a cancer situation because it can encourage cancer. Don't encourage cancer. Well, chemo can encourage cancer only because it lowers the immune, immune system. system right? But it, but it's I, a, I, I mean, this book I'm reading, the chopper is saying, don't. I mean, don't just walk away from the the cure that the, the modern cure because, I mean, this is this takes focus and and you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. But if you're if you're focusing on working on strengthening your immune system, the chemotherapy is really not going to hurt it that much because your immune system is already low. So right now we're going to build your immune system. Then going into chemo, the worst it's going to do is knock you into a Pepsi and cigarette mode. Pepsi, cigarettes, and sugar is got your immune system so low now anyway that once we build it up with garlic and, and echinacea and everything else, you don't have to. You'll be strong enough for the chemotherapy. Mm. It should be so much stronger than you used. I keep trying to picture it going away. Okay, keep, just keep doing that. Because what I'm reading is it's not a gradual thing. You build up to a point where you decide to take it on, you get a fever, you lay down for a couple of days, you're sick, and you and it goes away. I mean, be it. that woman that he's talking about, I'm only getting I'm only part way into the book, but that's what she did. That's his describing. Well, see. She beat the cancer. It went away literally overnight. She had it one day, she, th they were watching her, something was changing, they didn't know what was going on, and then it was gone. And that's how it works. And that's badass. <laughs> I mean, I, and you can do that. I like metaphysics because it, it kind of like, you know, teaches kind of like along that. It teaches you to be in tune with it. I love metaphysics, man. The book, the reason why I wanted you to read True Haunting was because the book, it isn't like, it isn't a bunch of haunting stories. It, it's something totally different than what it would look like. Yes, baby! Yeah, baby! Anyways, so, um... therapist and she um she's into metaphysics and all this different stuff and this book just tells you about um basically um 
to go to sleep. The book is basically about what spirits are, and it's not only just about what spirits are, it's about the next level, the next plane, the next field in life, and how it works, and um, it's just fucking incredible what she's writing and how much sense it fucking makes, it, it just fucking unbelievable, and she lives in Riverside, and she's with some group out in Riverside. I don't remember, Para something, Paris, and yeah, and they hold meetings out there and shit, and she does past life regression, and crap like that, I'd love, I want to send the key to past life regression, I think a lot of it, besides from this life, because she came into this world angry, I, I'm gonna fucking do, but she was a little raw, I looked into those fucking eyes, there's no shitting, I looked into those fucking eyes, and, and they just, they scared me. I was afraid of her when she was a little girl. Well, yeah, because you just had a baby and you were scared shitless. She was smart. She had this, this, this look in her face. Fuck you. You know, in her well, fucking eyes. Well, she's your kid. Two years old. Yeah, she's your kid. All the Italian boys were like, oh my gosh, she's cussing us out. And maybe we were just, she was, she was looking at the water. Yeah. And they were like, what the fuck? Spitfire! You know, and too, now, dude, she had some past life that got fucked. And she was angry. You take shit from your past. It comes with you sometimes. Yeah, you shot when though? When I was a kid, I told Shamu when I was a kid too. I'm not afraid of killer whales. Shamu didn't go on a no, rampage. Not Shamu, Orca, Orca, <laughs> Who's Orca, Orca. Killer whale, man, you never saw it, and that's a true uh, fucking story. It's not like Jaws. It's a true fucking movie. Orca, it's about this fucking whale. There's a fucking whale well in her, okay? And fucking, it, it's fucking like Moby Dick and shit, dude. But it's a fucking true story. It's an orca, dude. And it's and this guy was on a um. This guy was a well hunter or something. He was out there and he shot fucking, um, he shot the, the orca, no, orca was the mother, I can't remember. Anyways, the baby, yeah, the baby got fucking shot. The baby and the mom, I think it was. I don't remember. But anyways, got shot, got killed, and, and, and the fucking, the other well was there, and the other well fucking saw it and lived through the fucking harpooning. Well, he fucking hunted the, the person down, and in the end, fucking killed him. Well, yeah, that wouldn't be as scary, because that was just a killer whale getting revenge. Jaws was a shark gone wild devouring random people. I'm not afraid of dolphins, and dolphins, <laughs> no, <laughs> dolphins have been known to turn on each other. No, <laughs> I'm saying that... And they have attacked people. A, a, a lot of fears come from... from movies and television. I'm scared of spiders because of one episode of Gilligan's Island. One episode with gigantic spiders. Jaws does not have me fucking scared. If anything well, yeah. would have me scared, it was the crocodile movie when he swam in the fucking swimming pool. That would scare the shit out of me. If uh, uh, Pools? Pools? That's a scary fucking Well, you time. can look in a pool Cause and the, see No, because that crocodile just might come out of the anywhere in that fucking pool. It's like a little like, hidden <laughs> compartment. Yes! Um, Yes, it looks like tile, but it's hole. the door where the out of, <laughs> out of the hole in the in the fucking bottom of the pool, the crocodile will come out and eat you. Anyways, I still fucking love pools. What? Okay. Oh, or like the Twilight episode where you, they jumped in the pool and they ended up in a whole different place. What? So it's got you by a crocodile? I wish that might happen. <laughs> no, no, the, the Twilight. Jump in the pool and they go to another world. I used to want to do that as a kid so bad. Just to be away from there. What's that? Tuning fork. Yeah. Go see it. Tuning fork. That's how you tune it. That's how you tune it. Does it have a little sound? Tuning good time. Makes the sound if you hit it on an E. But why am I afraid of sharks?
Not because of Jaws. Because you were what? eaten by a shark in a pack. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe I was a sailor. I do love the water. Sailor? I barely know her. <laughs> I love the water, but I'm afraid of the sea. Or the ocean. But I'm mesmerized by all the creatures in it. I love to read about them. Oh, you better not be touching this part. It has to blow freely. Oh, so you have to only hold it below that. And then. talks about energies and spirits, demons, higher beings, spirit beings. You're jumping on your bed? Your mom's a what? You're jumping on your bed? It's a demon. 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 The only way I could get reception, I was on the phone with... Sandra for over an hour last night, the entire time like this, because this was the only way I could get reception, was standing on both of these things <laughs> and holding the phone over my head. <sighs> we need a phone here, man. It's a Yeah, I'm gonna get I'll get a phone. I need a landline like a junkie needs junk. I need a computer now. Piece of crap. Broken. Well, if we get mine fixed, we can use that. Well, yours is just a software problem, right? I mean, there's nothing else no, wrong No, it's got it. a virus. It needs yeah, it needs a software. I can just reinstall Windows on yours and start from fresh. For the talk I want to buy a big old virus thing. Like a virus. And have it go in there. What? <laughs> You're like thinking that's going to be like Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> wireless sometimes picks up the signal we must be right on the border of an AT&T and a singular 
station. I know, that's what I saw. 18. So when it picks it up, it picks it up at full thing, but then it starts to drop down. So it's it's holding between three and four bars for AT&T wireless, but the batteries did. With the battery charges. Or actually, two for the call one charging. You might just have to live with that quick. What time is it? Two... Why not? Two sixty. Well, I guess it's going to make it by 3.30. I don't know. Well, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that'll hold them. But for the AT&T signal, the fingular signal sucks. I swear, not an hour. My feet were, like, almost bleeding. I'm holding, like, this is the only way to get the signal. I need a landline, please. God almighty. I don't know. I should have learned not to listen to that beautiful story, but I really want pizza. Go <laughs> 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 get some pizza. <laughs> Watch, I'll shoot you something. Uh, no, 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 let me heat your hand. Boom! Watch, you watch, watch, watch. Help me find water. No, look at it, I found water. Let me find a letter for time. Gibby, 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 It could mean a lot of things.
that thing loses its continents, oh boy, it's going to be a messy rug. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Nelly. And that may be where he's at, which is why they're getting rid of him. Anyway, 35 bucks, he'll sit all over the place. And he'll, he'll be wading in it neck deep. Uh, uh, I got this by one. But, really? Yeah. Big time, get big time. Yeah. They don't usually have tempers, but you piss it off. No, I'm scared. <laughs> like, like jumping out behind a rock yelling boo? What did you do? <laughs> have a lot of grass. When you have nothing but dirt in your backyard, uh -huh. goats are not necessarily going to be very happy with being told that they get to be eaten by the pig if the, if it, if it, the food chain thing falls in line and then the well, pig gets eaten by the dogs and then we go Korean food that day. And, pony. What's that? Pony. When you were away, Mom, if you lived at the other house, well, you, we would have been able to get the pony. Go get a pony. Mm -hmm. Keep it in the garage. We'll make it, we'll make it just like a little dog. <laughs>
from Angel. Angel. That was my cat. <laughs> it was so cute and silly. No, it wasn't. It bit. No, it didn't. Mama didn't even touch me. It loved me so much. It didn't even try to hurt me. Anyways, my landlord. It loved me. My landlord made me get rid of the extra cats and a. And I just kept pumpkin and paper. But, um. And I feel bad, so it's very okay of letting go of Tiger, because Tiger was really close to me. And, um, but we... <laughs> Why did we keep pumpkin? Because you're crazy. You thought she could change, but every time you cried, she used to claw your head! Oh, yeah, I got... I let Tiger go, because Tiger already knew what the streets were like. Pumpkin didn't. Um. What about the little baby one? Where'd you let her go? And they were supposed to stay in my neighbor's yard, too. I took them to my neighbor's yard. Or not my neighbor's yard, to Kathy's yard. Yeah. Kathy's yard. And her husband went and took them, dropped them off at the university. Oh, no, yeah. Pumpkin has problems. But, but, Every time you cry, she'll usually just claw your head. But, she got pissed and like, Can you just do a crier? She did it. The rat. Pinkies. My favorite movie is this miracle because miracle. What's a miracle? Uh, they just threw a really, really bad cut that I nursed it through. And it was just a tiny baby. Not as bad as that other rat's cut. Nope. Nope. Um, nope. Not nubs. The big white one that got attacked by precious. Um. Or not precious. The Sonic? Rat. Sonic? Sonic, yeah. My favorite one. Anyways, um. That so was my cat Sonic. He's so cool. Oh, my rat Sonic. He was so cool. And here's the three. He bit me once. While we were gone, the little rats got out of the cage and came out. I can't party. I came home to fucking death. No. Sorry. Half eaten everywhere. Do you know how gross that is? No, but my dad didn't even touch one because mine's too small. That was and, the rest. And you know what I was really upset about? Miracle died. Did you know, um, when I saw one um, still that was, living, that was sad. Mom, I saw one still living and Sonic was trying to protect it. Just a bit. Sonic it, wasn't alive then. Yes, he was. Oh, was Sonic the dad? No. Remember? Yeah. And Precious, the big mama rat, mm -hmm. the cats wouldn't touch her. Sonic tried to protect, um, what's it called? Um, Miracle. I saw her in her room. She's almost dead. Let's plant some of this garlic. Huh? Would you find some garlic? Oh, okay. Yeah. You said, you know, we can bend something off, but you have to straw steaks. You can touch off the little area and just train the dogs. They go. Look, look, look. See, this is what the um, ladder guy does. He shoots out his ladder to your face, and your face just gets blown off. What? There's no peace mobile. <laughs> Mom, see the peace mobile? I'm so hungry right now. There's a peace mobile. Delivers stupid vegetables. But then he changed to evil shoot out vegetables at people mobile. See, no, no, no more peace mobile. I got tongue clean. See, and he used a throw. Um, I tell you the throw you mobile. See this little hook right here? I tell you. I tell you. It's in the oil and it exploded. Pasta. Hmm? Pasta. 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 Pasta.
thingy. What do they call him? Bark, yeah. A skull marks right here. Look at me out of them. Out of their eyes. Yes, he is. He's the nicest motherfucker in the world. He's our peaceful truck. He's our peaceful deal. Peace one. Peace truck. Can I make him all tie dyed and smell him like patchouli? <laughs> this is a killer because it cries you like this. Right, so you want a lot of garlic on yours, right? I love garlic. I hate garlic. garlic. Oh, that's right. Does he bombshell oil, or is he just a bombshell? No, he has a bombshell. Look, see? Bombshell. Oh, well. He shoots it out. Sure. It explodes, and then the bombshells go out, and then the bombshells explode, and then it cremates it, and so he gets another bombshell. This guy caught over there. But Mr. Bombshell? Where's Mr. Bombshell? Peace truck turned evil. <laughs> he was good for like, you, he wasn't even five minutes, and all of a sudden he's evil again? <laughs> yeah. The peace truck was never you evil. Let's see, you get uh, 11 evil trucks, you can't have one peace truck? <laughs> no. Not even for five minutes? Fine, I can't have one peace truck. I'll get that one. Peace truck that bombs people, yay! He's no peace truck. <laughs> Trucks don't bomb people. Yes, they do. You don't know peace yeah, trucks. Um, tanks bomb people. Tell me whether or not you think this cat looks comfortable. <laughs> hey, what's up? You chilling? Hey, what a stud service in the pet department was code. Let me just shoot people. They shoot studs at pets. Do you have the remains of the day or any, um, maybe Bridges of Madison County? We're going to just make him watch that for like a few hours. <laughs> Calm him down. Off the... yeah, remains of the day, okay. All right, watching a movie. <laughs> Did this, don't tell me. Rebel? Don't tell me this was the broken, no, the broken one was Dungeons and Dragons. You need to watch that from the beginning when you're in the right mood to be able to watch it and pretend it didn't. It was in black and white, and therefore somehow unfit for modern consumption. No, I like it. You got finally got a Mr. Mr. Peace Truck. I like it. Street cleaner. Yeah. Until ten minutes later, I mean a million years later, he turns evil. Now he's Mr. Evil's Peace Truck. Mr. Evil Truck. A lot of the old movies. They're all evil again. A lot of old movies that were popular are long and drawn out. That isn't really long and drawn out. It's Rebel without a... No, you were just in the wrong mood. My Man Godfrey. No, that is a great action-packed movie. Godfrey. Fourth Intelligence. Yeah. Fourth Intelligence. Yeah. That's a Godfrey. Oh, no, no, I know who's peaceful. Who's so peace stuck? Until he turns evil. <laughs> they turn evil pretty quick in your little world there. <laughs> yeah, another peace stuck. Which turns evil, too. <laughs> well, it's okay, because I'm making... Peace pizza! Dun 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 were only white birds that carry Big olive branches yeah. in their claws, but it turns out that pigeons are also technically doves. My web through is unabridged. My big dictionary told me so. So, there you go. So yes, I was wrong. <laughs> you were right. Alex 
watching I am Seth and Mr. Cool Room. Yeah, they're watching um The Streamer, which is a very cool movie. This is Seth Zero. Yeah. And he goes to bed in here and stuff. With the lady room. <laughs> See? It's all nice and warm. He has this thing right here. So cool! Yeah, man. I have no cool to see. I can't even see myself. We got lemons. Do it, I'll be right back. Hold up. This is the beginning of Audrey 4B. Okay, I'm gonna call it Yaka. Yaka 4B. Just wanna be identified on the tape as the the sole character on the tape, which makes sense because it's about everybody.
it's quite big. It's 4.8 centimeters. Um, my second opinion doctor believes it's, it's actually probably larger because um, apparently what they saw was 4.8, but it was large and they couldn't get all of it out. Um, anywho, um, it's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. It, it grew in a short matter of time. And um, I can't afford to die. <laughs> I've got two kids I love very, very much. And so I'm changing so much about me. Um, let's see. I've changed my diet, which was fast food. Uh, I ate like McDonald's, Cars Juniors, Burger King, Jack in the Box, In and Out, all that stuff forever. I, it was it was my main diet. I had to eat junk food, fast food. It's good. Um, I'm sugar addicted. I love uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. God, I love that stuff so much. But I, I had cut back on that in like the last year or two. Pepsi. I drink Pepsi like like there was no tomorrow. I mean just. I wouldn't drink water every day. Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. I couldn't get enough Pepsi. I could be feeling completely sick and I knew it was because I was drinking all this Pepsi and no water and I'd still have to have it. Pepsi, I had to have it. I quit that. Um, and smoking, I smoke cigarettes, which is a huge um, contributor to breast cancer. And I, I smoked quite a bit. And there were a couple times I tried to quit. But now, um, I've, I have to quit. I have to quit drinking the Pepsi. No more Pepsi. No more smoking. No more fast food. It's all healthy, organic stuff, which takes some getting used to. And um, <clears throat> uh, just water, juices, tea, <laughs> non-caffeinated tea. Mmm. Anywho, <laughs> it's pretty gross, but you get used to it. Um, just different stuff, and I have to go on a, a new way of living, I have to try and exercise more, I, I don't exercise, okay, if I'm working, that's my exercise, if not, then, you know, whatever, when I clean house, that's my exercise, um, I have to learn to actually be active now, which I, I haven't really started yet, to be quite honest, except for maybe I'll walk more, um, but, um, just, I don't know, it's weird, it's changed my approach and my feelings to a lot, like, I'm, I'm, I've always been, I've always loved my children and, and, uh, I don't know how to explain it, I'm more aware of how precious my time is with them now, they, they get more of my time now than they did before, and true part of it's because I was working, uh, so, that, kind of takes away from the kids, but, um, yeah, and, um, I don't know, I, I want to do this for every woman out there dealing with breast cancer, it's a very scary thing, and, um, it's nice to know when someone's been through it with you, and they're just Plain old Jane. No one special who can afford everything. I can't. I'm pretty dirt poor. You know what this is? Poor woman's reduction. <clears throat> one of the things that I've learned um, is really important is um, being very involved in your best cancer. Studying, researching, getting more than one opinion. It's all extremely very important. Um, people are human, they make mistakes. Doctors are absolutely human. They can make mistakes. They can also bring in their own um, unbiased opinions. And, and there are doctors that treat you like you're not even it's not, it's like you're not even involved in the process. You have no 
human form whatsoever. You don't, you are not a person. You're just another, you're just another, I don't know, bill, something. Not anyone who matters, just another paycheck. And uh, it, it's really sad. Um, I um, went to this one surgeon after they diagnosed me, they found out I had breast cancer in the emergency room. I felt the streaking pain streaking through here and my veins were swollen and that wasn't normal and normally I have really tender breasts during my um, period which is when about this was happening but I knew this was not right so I went to the ER um, they said I had a lump inside and they seemed all worried about it which scared the dickens out of me I drove away from the ER